actually, Hog Hog and Hog started out as Duck Duck and Duck. Um, it was inspired by my son when he was a little boy, and uh, he decided to speak duck. And so he was quacking for I don't know how many days. And I thought it was it seemed pretty normal, quack 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 quack. Um, and then it gets stored in your head, you don't know why, where it is, and years later, uh, for some reason, it comes to the forefront. And I think that could be a cute idea for you know some kernel of a book. And we're in a, an age where almost everything becomes cause celeb. So ducks quacking seemed you know a normal hmm, an idea for a, a you know a book. I went back to my roots. I thought, all right, you know, I loved the, one of the things that propelled the the idea for for the story was the word quack. So I wanted another sound that that was a good funny sound and oink was sort of comparable to quack so the pigs uh, just you know started and they were better than the ducks because they were bigger and broader and they have this whole context that we all know about pigs so hog hog and hog sort of have this backstory of like the three little pigs going to the big city big fame big fortune uh, big celebrity, big fall, big comeback, and then just a little bit of a surprise twist at the end. Well, I think Hog, Hog, and Hog is a book for all ages. Uh, the little uh, preschoolers will get engaged because it's just absurd. It's silly. It's nonsensical. Everybody's oinking. Uh, School-age children will uh, enjoy that theater of the absurdness quality, but also begin to connect the dots to right, wrong consequences. And parents and other adults will appreciate the wink towards uh, uh, media and uh, celebrity, um, you know, so I think, I really think it's, it's a book for, for all ages. And it has pink, and who doesn't like pink? <laughs>